can tell you as the former governor of Massachusetts that one of the best things state government ever did was to establish the UMass Medical School in Worcester. And the medical school uh, is one of the fastest growing research institutions in the country. And there is a real commitment to being a premier medical research facility. Uh, I believe that's what led Dr. Robert Brown to UMass uh, Medical. What I see in Bob Brown is a gifted and talented physician. He's an incredibly gifted teacher. I think he would tell you he's most committed to the clinical care of his patients. And yet, his mind whirs with, uh, with scientific inquiry uh, at a speed which would outpace most of his uh, colleagues and collaborators. My name is Bob Brown. I'm Chair of Neurology at the University of Massachusetts Medical School. We've been interested in ALS for many years because it's such a devastating problem. In motor neuron disease, the fundamental problem is that these unusual cells in the body called motor neurons, which are in the brain and the spinal cord, just slowly stop working. It starts subtly in one area and then it spreads and unfortunately leads eventually to complete paralysis, including paralysis of breathing. There's an incredible urgency to try to move forward and do everything we can do to employ and deploy every resource we can to find a solution and an end, put an end to this disease. Dr. Brown uh, will not rest. Uh, he wants to find the cure. He's an amazing person, a wonderful, compassionate physician, a top-notch researcher, uh, and I'm very fortunate uh, he's, he's my doctor. There has never been more reason to be hopeful about the future of ALS treatments than right now. There are now more causes identified for the disease in terms of genetics. There are now more models to study. There are now other modalities of treatments besides drugs that are becoming available, such as gene therapy, such as gene silencing, such as stem cell therapies. Uh, and when you put all these together, it seems to me it, there's a plurality of possibilities that just didn't exist six or seven years ago and which leave us all very excited about where the future lies for us with ALS therapy. The collaborative nature of the University of Massachusetts is something that's very special. And I think particularly in a, in a complex disease like ALS, uh, our ability to you know, put tremendous energy towards collaborative efforts that might with time lead us to a cure is, uh, is an incredibly important initiative. We are fortunate here to have a remarkable community of highly collaborative, uh, very catalytic, creative scientists who all want to bring their diverse specialty interests to bear on how we understand brain degenerative disorders like ALS. It was pretty clear to me after my first uh, couple of appointments uh, with Dr. Brown that uh, I was probably with the best person in the world uh, to be treating uh, ALS. Uh, I saw his uh, commitment, I learned of his research, uh, and he's just someone who will leave no stone unturned in trying to help his patients. I, I was very, uh, very impressed by that. Uh, and I told him early on uh, that I would, I would like to help him. I would like to help raise money so that, that his research uh, could continue because it was giving me hope uh, and I wanted to give uh, hope to a lot of people who have ALS. What I hear so often from, from our clinician investigators and from our basic science research team is that they have so many wonderful ideas that they hope to pursue, and yet there isn't enough funding available. So having a fund where a scientist actually can pursue an idea is sort of the dream for this great clinician investigator. Private benefactions to a program like ours are incredibly important because they allow us to undertake some of the most high risk but potentially high yield creative work that uh, can in the long run give us the best payback in terms of discoveries about the disease. There are some new techniques we'd like to explore. Uh, we are starting to, for example, do full genome sequencing, looking at all the molecules of DNA and 
a large number of ALS patients and um, that is something which we want to pilot and push forward with private funding. We have several ideas about new ways to intervene therapeutically and would very much like to be able to uh, accelerate those with the kind of dollars that we're hoping this endowment will uh, lead, lead to. The ability to provide funds to allow him to uh, hopefully unlock the mechanism and the, and the basis of this disease and lead to a, a therapy with time is something that's really pretty special. The funds that will be raised will directly uh, help Dr. Brown in that work and uh, I, I, I can't think of a better place to, uh, uh, to put, some, put some money. This is a moment for all of us to come together hand in hand to try to change the course of a history of a disease. And that's a special moment that no one of us should look past. But Dr. Brown uh, will not rest. His commitment to his patients is, is, is so obvious. He wants to find a cure. And I am so proud uh, to be helping him, raising funds so that he can continue his groundbreaking research that is giving hope, realistic hope, uh, to people living with ALS and their families.